The best way to reach eastern Greenland is from Iceland. After the two-hour flight from Reykjavik, the Air Iceland plane touches down in Kulusuk. Kulusuk is a small island off the coast of Greenland. The runway isn't tarmacked, so the pilot has to break gently. Our destination is the town of Tasilak, a few kilometers from the airfield. It takes about 10 minutes by helicopter over deep fjords, towering icebergs and jagged cliffs. There's pack ice here even in summer. And the island can only be reached by boat for a few weeks in August and September. Tasilak is the largest town on the east coast with 1,600 inhabitants, impressive by Greenland standards. It's the administrative center for a region almost the size of Germany. There are two supermarkets here, a hospital, a post office, three hotels, and a helicopter landing pad. Marion Althaus from Berlin has been given a voucher for the dog sledding school in Tasilak. And Dines is her instructor. As always, theory comes first. The students have to learn the various dog commands. And they are not that easy. The dogs are already waiting further down the slope. They seem to sense that they'll be setting off soon. Fifteen sled dogs have to be harnessed. Hot work even when it's below freezing. But the dogs are patient and seem to look forward to the outing. This is the first time that Marion has driven a dog sled by herself. And she has the feeling there's still a lot of work ahead of her. Time and again, the reins have to be untangled. The dogs aren't accustomed to Marion's commands. But Marion and the dogs keep trying, even if it doesn't always work. Gradually, it all starts to come together, and the dogs and their driver can enjoy the sun. It's really fun, but it takes a lot of effort. I hadn't expected it to be like that. When you see it on TV, it always looks really easy, but there's a lot of work involved. It's a good thing instructor Dines is always nearby. He grew up with sled dogs, and they obey his every command. The weather is bright and sunny, and there's hardly any wind. Normal weather conditions for this time of year. Otherwise, strong, icy winds often make life difficult in Greenland. Despite motor sleds and aeroplanes, the dog sled is still one of the most important methods of transport. Marion Althaus now has the hang of it. A few commands and the dogs pull hard, all of them clearly having a good time. You, 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 All the hard work has paid off. In the evening, Marion receives her license. Dinas, the veteran, and Marion, the beginner, are happy with the day's work. <laughs> and now Marion Althaus is the first German woman with a real dog sled driving license from Greenland. You're doing not, nothing wrong. Paul Bocuse is widely considered one of the greatest chefs in the world and perhaps the first one to emerge from the kitchen and become a celebrity. Also, the award named after him, the Bocuse d'Or, is regarded as the most prestigious award for chefs in the world. He says he will never retire and certainly still has all the joie de vivre of a young man. We've been asking him a few pertinent questions for Euromax dossier. <laughs> 